welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkie on Wiesmaal, also known as EJ. So um, yesterday, it was the 16th of November 2024, I went on another visit at Landsbergen at one of those uh, open houses they have. Uh, they have that twice a year in spring and also in fall. So it was that time of year again and the weather was kind of okay. So I thought I'm going because it's quite a drive. Uh, it takes me two and a half hour, a little bit over two and a half hour to get there and to uh, to get home again so uh, about five hours driving uh, I like driving but a very long distance not so much but yeah uh, to have a look at uh, so many beautiful orchids and to get the ability to uh, buy them for uh, quite nice prices you sometimes have to uh, sacrifice so it wasn't the end of the world and I have quite a few but I think a little less than before um, and trying not to buy too many but yeah there were a few I, I just couldn't resist and I think you will uh, understand why in a, in a few seconds also I have three gifts those are next to the camera because those are for people that uh, probably didn't receive the orchids yet uh, when I upload this video. I'm not completely sure when I exactly will upload this because I have a blooming update to do in the end of November as well. So this might be the first one of December. Uh, we shall see. But anyhow, th that's their surprises if they want to share it on social media. They will. One of them has a YouTube channel and uh, he's from uh, Belgium. Uh, it's called Tuki World. So uh, if you want to uh, have a look, you may go over to that channel. And he may have already uploaded the video. At least I think he is going to do an unboxing. I'm not even sure. But anyhow, it will be someday in, in one of his videos. Um, but for now, uh, I also have two gifts because I bought them. I bought them um, about uh, there was a double it wasn't I wasn't planning on buying two of them but I somehow I ended up buying those two the uh, two plants of the same variety and I know my niece uh, will uh, happily grow them on as well so those will be gifts but they weren't planned I think I was so overwhelmed by the by the amount of plants there are so many I took a few pictures so I will show them to you guys but yeah you you will enter the nursery and this is the first thing you you see and yeah it's a lot to take in so I think that's why I uh, ended up buying a few more it never happened before of the same plant a few more of the same plant but it never like I said it never happened before but uh, yesterday it did anyhow uh, those plants will make great gifts as well so uh, let's have a look let's have a start well first of all this is a new um, species for me and where is the tag I did make a tag I did find some names and this should be it it's not in bloom I have pictures of the bloom so I will show them as well and this is the plant but it has a spike uh, here and it has this beautiful yellowish uh, flowers and oh yeah we have a little bit of sun here and there today so sometimes it will be a bit brighter <laughs> but anyhow so this is the first one yeah it's on a curb uh, on a mount uh, curb mount I believe it is yeah I think it is look at that but anyhow and it's it's nicely settled there but it needs to come off because I don't do well with mounts it looks perfectly uh, and happy there but it will come off because like I said I cannot uh, I do not do my uh, mounts they don't suit my life so I will not uh, I cannot keep up with watering but anyhow nice looking plant very healthy and I'm looking forward to grow this one so that's the first one let's put it back and grab the next one that's also on a mount it's a, a new Tolumnia. I was looking for Tolumnias because I have some room for a few more. And there were two varieties, only one of this one. And the other one was kind of okay, but this one I really enjoyed. So I thought I'm going to leave the other one behind. And here it is. Uh, camera, come on, focus on the flowers now, please. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful flower? I do think so. And I had a look on Google. Whoops, I think it is this one. <laughs> oh, and again, my camera. Yeah, there it is. Sorry for the glare. Firm Cyber. I think that is this one. And a very, very, very nice one. Look at that. I didn't even see until 
now this morning that it has a beautiful growth over here there's a teeny tiny new growth in there as well several new growths over here at this side as well it might be two plants beautiful roots and just water it with some or all water some seaweed but um maybe it's one plant anyhow it looks beautiful beautiful so i'm very happy with this one a nice tolumnia very nice one and like i said there was only one of this variety only three tolumnias in total so two of the same and then uh, and then this one so i was kind of lucky uh, i think uh okay <laughs> this was kind of funny this is a catlea i have no idea or a type of catlea which one it is but as you can see it should be modeled and one of the organizers of this event um, said, you need this one, you need to buy this one, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not completely sure if it's the same cross, but the owners of the nursery said to him, this is, this is going to be kind of special. So he said to me, I'm going to buy one and you just need one as well. So I thought I'm going to buy it. And it has two directions of growth and both of them uh, do carry a butt. Not open yet, but we will uh, we'll film it. Uh, in a update blooming update or so i'm not completely sure but it's nice nice healthy uh, looking plant and i do not have much room anymore at my catlea uh, area but i will uh, will have some room for a few uh, smaller ones so this one uh, will get a nice place over there okay let's see let's grab these guys well this is <laughs> these are the first ones that i buy, bought double Again, I have no idea how I ended up buying them double, and it normally doesn't happen to me. But um, there is a number in there; it's not a tag. I didn't, I couldn't find a name for this one. It is a sort of uh, odontoglossum, I think. It kind of looks like my uh, Miltonia something garden. I will put in a picture next to this one i wish my camera would make it sharper uh, but then i think it's more of an odontoglossum bulb way bigger this well actually this one is a little bit smaller bulb wise and this bloom is not still beautiful but the other one is a little bit more purple no it was the other way around i'm sorry i'm sorry for the confusion confusing here but you can see the one on the left and on the right the one with the most purple i do enjoy uh, better it's this one but this one has the smaller bulbs so it was like go out, do i go for a bigger bulb with a little less nicer plant to, uh, bloom to look at if you ask me uh, or do i go for the bit better bloom color wise with the shorter bulbs uh, i think i will go for this one because i like this bloom just a little bit better and i hope these bulbs will grow a little bit bigger i really enjoy orchids with big bulbs big plants but anyhow i ended up buying them both so i will uh, gift one to my uh, to my niece but yeah if you recognize it please let me know the name i couldn't find this one the next one there were only three of them and at the end of well halfway through the the morning there was only one left and i think the other ones did sell as well the last one but i was the first one one of the first ones there not the first one and so i had uh, i could choose um this might be um yeah th yeah it's this one i think I'm sorry, I need to grab the text as well. Look at this flower. This is what I like, you guys. Next to my Meltoniopsis, you know those are my favorite. These are the second. I uh, love the yeah, Odontoglossum, Bialara, Acillaria, and all those kind of names, types of uh, flower. For me, though, these are just Odontoglossum types. In uh, Oncidium intergeneric, some call them. And they are, of course, I know, but... Oh, all the, these names but look at these flowers and do you see them against my hand they are fairly big and beautiful i did a search on google and i think it's an alicia and i think it's this one there we go sorry for the glare again i think it's this one i'm not completely sure but it is beautiful nonetheless and uh, yeah of course Look at that, big bulbs. 
and we have new growth over here there um, in here yes in here in this sheet is another growth starting as well and I believe well this one is flowering so this might be a new this one is actually flower behind that one so maybe this one will give a new growth as well um, ah, sorry it's very obvious <laughs> That makes three new growths. So yeah, this is a good plant, a very good plant. And luckily it is. It's it's so beautiful. Absolutely. This this is completely of my my alley, I think you say. <laughs> this is what I love. Absolutely. So, uh we had those. We had the Catalea. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. A double one again. Uh this is going to be to be a little bit conf Using well, first start with a with the doubles because I bought another one which is very similar and that was on purpose. I didn't bought these two on purpose, but I wanted one. Like I said, Bialara, Osilara types, and I love them. I cannot find that much varieties, but look at this detail. Look at the flowers, and I hope you have a bit of an indication of how big these are. Let me put the bulbs next to it because I on my hand. Yeah, that's better, I think. Look at that. Let's put them side to side. And maybe you remember, remember it. I think the, it was the last one I bought. I think this uh, exactly the same one, but that one didn't have the roots. So it died within a few weeks. Luckily, I found it again because I was in love with this one. Absolutely. This one, this one in frame currently, has slightly bigger blooms than this one. I think you can see that. And I love big flowers, but I also love big bulbs. And I believe this one has a bit bigger bulb than this one. Slightly bigger. But again, I think I'm going to choose the bigger flowers. And a bit of sunshine on there, which is nice. Look at that. So any other one will be a gift for my niece. It, it's stunning. These flowers are so beautiful. Like I said, I, I, uh, Miltoniopsis are my favorite, but these one are very close. Very, very, very close. I love them. Um, yeah, let's... Oh, wait a second. I think I have a name for these guys. Oh, I almost forgot. Pretty sure I did find it. And this is, uh, yeah, Bialara. There we go. Pacific Treasure, I believe. I cannot read it backwards. Yeah, uh, Bialara Pacific Tre Treasures, everything nice. It's such a long name <laughs> and that's a number for my notes, but it says everything nice on the end. And yeah, if you have a look, I think you will agree it's this one. There we go. So that's probably the name for this one. And then I think, so those were two of the same and I think I sort of, I'm pretty sure I did kind of bought the same one so actually three of them but uh, this is why you see they look very very similar but this ha doesn't have a much purple in it so it's slightly different uh, I should grab I will grab another one so you can compare it a little bit better see there it is so it's it is just a little bit different and it was only one of this one amongst uh, I believe there were a thousand plants, different kinds of orchids, of course, but so many plants, and I could only find one of these. And just a few of these guys on the left here. But I think it's the same cross, and this is just a little bit different, different seedling, just a different bit of different outcome of the blooms, I think. And that so that has the same uh, name i believe it's a bialara that we just saw if you google it you might have one search option that will give almost exactly the same flower as this one so that's why i i'm pretty sure that it is the same variety just a, like i said a different outcome so to speak of the the crush and is that a mealy bark no i don't think so 
but yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I thought, you know what? These were seven euro fifty per plant. Just one spike, seven euro fifty. If they had, if they had two, I think it was nine, nine and a half euros. So if you have a plant for like this one for seven and a half euros, I believe that is somewhere around eight, nine dollars. So you have, if you're from the US, a bit better understanding what the price is. But yeah, I couldn't resist for those prices. Uh, so yeah, I think those are the names for these guys. Um, yeah, this is also a funny story. This one is not in bloom. It has a spike and it has buds, as you can see. And there's a little bit of sunshine again. Thank you. It always works well when you're filming. There's another spike and a cakey. By the looks of it, I thought this is probably a Leodoro. When I bought it, he said, I think it's going to be a Leodoro and I already have a Leodoro, but I thought, you know what, it's just fun to buy an orchid that is not blooming, so you basically have no idea what you are buying. But if it is a Leodoro, I will give this uh, to my aunt. She is, uh, uh, she is uh, almost, it's almost her birthday, so it's, it, I think this a Leodoro would make a beautiful gift, especially for those who uh, love orchids. And I believe she doesn't have one. But I don't need another one. I have a beautiful one which gets really a nice size to it. But I thought this has a cakey and I think another one starting. Well, actually, no, that looks like a more spike that didn't come through, but didn't uh, progress, I should say. Anyhow, Leodora, probably, probably, but it has beautiful roots. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We shall see, we shall see what it uh, will be. And then a little slipper arca, a slipper arca, a Paphiopedalum. Wasn't hard to find this name, but oh boy, there were only a few of these. Look at that flower. It's such a beauty, such a beauty. So she will go uh, amongst those here in the background. Those do very well over there, so I think this one will do as well. This uh, is Paphiopedalum alona. There we go. If you look it up, I'm, I'm sure this is the one. It's, uh, it's very easy to find a name for this one. Luckily, it's beautiful. And sequential, there, look, there is another butt. And I had to stake it. It did fall over, probably because of transport. I, I have no idea, but yeah, a bit of sunshine on there. Let's get my face out of the way <laughs> for the details. Yeah, beautiful. And it's a small one. And it, if I'm correct, I did a little bit of research on it. It stays compact. It's just this. It's just a mini version, which I enjoy. I didn't have a mini, and at the time that I bought it, I had no idea it would be a mini, but. Uh, yeah, so it's a little bonus, sort of. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's put that back. And then, did you see it? Yeah, you see it. It's very obvious. Let's grab this one. Look at this. Isn't this a wonderful yellow Nelly Isla? Look at that intense yellow. As you may know, I did bought a yellow Nelly Eiler, I think about two years ago, not completely sure, but it has a little bit of pink on the edge of the sepals, petals of both. I'm not completely sure. It's currently working on a spike, not blooming yet. So we may com can compare these guys, but I wanted a pure yellow one. I just, I love the yellows, as uh, some of you already know. I just uh, received this comment. Oh, I don't remember your name, I apologize. But she said, well, every time I see a yellow orchid, I think of you because I know you like them so much. So yeah, that's kind of funny. Yes, I do love my yellows. I, I, I always had as a child garden plants, always. I always first go for the yellows. And especially this yellow, this bright yellow, it's, it's so beautiful. And then you have the combination with a pure white and yellow. Very, fairly rare amongst the orchids, if you ask me, but uh, yeah, 
that's beautiful too <laughs> yeah so i bought another yellow nail eyeliner um it also has a beautiful new growth there were several to choose from nice bulb little bit shriveling but i think it's okay i i, I didn't remember this uh shri this shriveling yesterday maybe it's a little bit of stress these are very sh sensitive to stress let me quickly show you my nelly iron that i was referring to it's next to the camera and as you all know i do grow my nellies all my nelly eyelids in self watering and just this one is just mm, it's in there this bulb is getting a little bit bigger it looks kind of okay but it has a very rough time adopt adapting the other nearly eyes do adapt very easily to the system so i think this might be a uh, not a very strong one so i thought if i can find a pure yellow one i will buy it and i, I may keep this one uh, I don't know, or maybe one day I will gift it, but I need to know if it's strong enough, of course. And speaking of which, the Nelly Eyeless, last time, of the previous time, I did buy two Nellies as well. And one of them is starting to bloom again, and you can see the difference. So this one I, I did bought, uh, yeah, also in 2024. So it was the uh, open house at spring, I'm sorry. I cannot do much things at once, different things. <laughs> so I need to focus, but look at this. This is the yellow with, with red variety. And it's just, there was only one then. They had a sea of Nellies, so a lot of them. And one, like I said with the, with the other one, it's just a seedling that has a little bit of different outcome, blooming wise, just a bit different colors. And luckily, they did left this one there for sale and I could buy it because I love this one. I never ever saw a Nelly having these colors, this color combination. So it's kind of unique and I didn't grab it only for the roots, but you can see this plant is much stronger and it does adapt so much easier to the system. So sometimes, and the other one, the yellow, uh, the previous one does get the same care, but sometimes the plants are not that strong. I believe because otherwise this one is just a few months in the system you can see it's beautiful growing and obviously beautiful blooming it has a very strong spike nice leaves so uh and it's also working on a new growth over here beautiful maybe i can take it out have a look if we see some roots on the outside yeah look this is what i'm talking about i mean that's a growing tip for a nelly eiler few months in a system this is good this is very good <laughs> if you have nellies you know or miltoniopsis these are even difficult more difficult to grow i believe than a, than a miltoniopsis and the liars are uh, very picky on what they like so yeah we just saw the roots coming out of the net pot this is what we want so that's just me telling you guys that sometimes it's not our fault <laughs> and that's not an excuse but it's just the reality so i i have the tendency to uh, to to sort of blame myself um that's a very negative word it's not really blaming but I, I i want to know why things happen just to learn but sometimes a plant is just not not, not that strong we just have a perfect um a perfect example i couldn't get the name out but there it was just a perfect example example of uh, how sometimes th things go not every plant is as strong uh but yeah i think this uh, this was it so overall a fantastic haul if you ask me i'm so incredibly happy with those uh bialara alisiara types yeah i love them i love them i have one in grow it's next to the camera as well uh yeah i just have the camera rolling why not show it to you guys this is so stunning as well and i did bloom it for the i believe the third time and it just is opening up this is it and this is alisiara snow blind i believe so this is a snow blind. The other one does look like a snow blind, but it's this one. Uh, the sepals and the petals are a bit smaller than the other one we just saw. And mine is uh, it's coming back. It had a rough time, but it's now growing better. And 
You can also see that because of this spike is long. Very, fairly long for a uh, LSCI. It should give these long spikes, don't get me wrong. But the previous one was maybe about half of this. So my plant wasn't doing as well. And now it does. And it's just starting to bloom. I love them. I absolutely love them. So I will uh, put this quickly back without breaking the spike. I don't stake them because I like them arching over a bit better. But if you move them, you always need to <laughs> have your eyes on that spike, of course. You don't want to don't want to break them. Good question now would be, and you probably uh, did ask it, why? Do you know why uh, it does do better? Um, not completely sure, not completely sure. Um, I, I, I did start using vitamins for my plants. Uh, so I think overall the combination of feed plus the vitamins and of course the calcium powder, uh, I, I, I think uh, it, I have a more better balance uh, in between the fertilizer and the, uh, the pH that I have in the pots. I'm working, uh, working on that because more of my plants do have, do grow better, longer spikes. I, that's the oh, so far. Uh, I, that's the only only answer I can now give. That's a, probably a answer if you uh, understand uh, what I mean by that. I'm not completely sure, but obviously it's doing better. And besides that, I didn't change much uh, for that one. The plant is getting a little bit older. That helps as well. Older and stronger plants have more energy to uh, pr uh, to produce better bulbs, better spikes. So. Anyhow, I'm not completely sure. Maybe that's a topic for another video one day. Not for this video. This video was, of course, all about the hall. Let me uh, turn the camera around a little bit and zoom in. Look at that. Oh, I love all these colors together. So yes, you guys, it was fun. It was absolutely fun. And if you were sitting this channel and you were there, I may have met you. It was a, for me, it was a very fun time and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you weren't there and you're watching this video, of course, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this video as well. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you saw something and you might know the name or you disagree with names that I did find for them, please let me know. I'm open for that information because I uh, really uh, like, uh, like to know the names if I can. So uh, let's uh, feel free and uh, add that in. For now, you guys, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.